Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we will do uh, ANSYS tutorial and uh, in fact we'll see a static structural analysis of a cantilever beam. So right now as if you can see we have the solution for the beam, we have total and directional. So I will guide you from the beginning what, what kind of uh, beam, what dimension and what are the meshing requirements, what I have selected and you can follow me through the video. So let's close this for now. Let's uh, close the design modeler also. And we will delete this one. Delete. Okay. All right. So first of all, we will start with the uh, workbench. So in the workbench itself, we will uh, invoke the static structural analysis and we will name it cantilever beam so I can type it cantilever beam okay so after renaming your project we will start with the geometry so let's double click on geometry we will leave the engineering data by default to where it is don't bother about that we'll just focus on the static structural analysis so once you are in design modeler I want you to set the units first so millimeter and let's draw something uh, so draw our sketch on XY plane right click look at and go to sketching select a rectangle from the center you can draw something like that then you can go to dimension keep it general and we will give length and width dimension now in case if you are wondering how I am getting these uh, dimension values right over here in the sketching uh, so all you have to do is you come to display and you can either by default you it will be your name value won't be there it's, it will be like this uh, name will be ticked so all you have to do is switch to value or you can keep both if you want to but I like keeping it in value. I have already uh, told this in the previous video. So let's keep it in the value. All right, after that, we'll give it dimension. So let's say 50 mm and 10 mm, right? Then either you can right click and go for isometric view and you can go for extrude for about, let's say, in the depth you can type in 250 mm and generate your beam so very easy you can generate a beam like this in design modeler from here we will switch back to our workbench and start the mechanical model window it will take few seconds to load All right, so once we are in the mechanical model window, once right click and go for isometric view. And yeah, that's it. We are in the design model. Let's switch to mechanical, okay. Once you are in the mechanical model, uh, what we'll do is we'll come to our project and we'll select mesh and right click, go for generate mesh. So it will take the default value, I'm not, uh, I'm not pretty much uh, uh, doing the meshing in this tutorial so I will take the default mesh value because it's not a complicated man, uh, model we can we are doing this for just for uh, learning purpose so let's keep it simple let's do not uh, do more meshing all right so from here you can see if you come to details of mesh you can see to statistics we have 80 elements because it has uh, what you can say 20 elements along the length and four elements or uh, four elements along the width so each square box is a element so you can count it along length it's 20 and along width it's four so that's how the number is coming over here 80 all right so from here now what we'll do is we'll switch back to our uh, 
we will we will apply uh, some loads some fixed support so for that let's select a static structural right click insert let's go for fixed support and select the face and select this face apply and yeah we have applied our fixed support now we will apply loads on to the opposite face so for that we'll come to static structural right click and go for force all right so in the force we will first of all select the geometry so let's go for our edge selection and select this say apply and in the magnitude let's go for 500 okay after that in the direction itself we'll have to specify the direction so i will select this vertical edge and uh, to reverse the direction i mean uh, my force should be in downward direction so i will utilize this option like here so i want my downward force of 500 go for apply and in the solution let's let's uh, put what what we want in our solution so let's select solution right click insert deformation total once again solution insert deformation directional these two are the solution which we are uh, interested in right now so after that we will quickly solve this from here All right, we, we missed one thing. Uh, since we have applied uh, downward direction uh, uh, force, so we need to edit some details in directional deformation. So we'll come to directional deformation. And in the orientation, it should not be X, right? Because uh, we have applied it in Y direction, so it should be Y. And from there, you can now solve it these are the little things that you have to keep in mind which direction you are applying and which direction you are uh, going for solution so let's say i'm looking at my total deformation it should be maximum of uh, 3.06 yeah that's right and minimum of zero because uh, this this face was fixed and this was kept moving on the other hand if we see directional deformation that's pretty much right yeah okay let's talk about total deformation so in the total deformation if you come to your result and go to your contours go to your edges you can pretty much show undeformed wire so what it shows is if i right click go to view and go to right you can see how our uh, beam was and uh, what uh, what happened when we applied a force of 500 it basically bends it like this you can see the undeformed wireframe you can also see the undeformed model so a pretty shadow kind of model going on over here so just you can observe how the changes is going on you can also go for maximum and minimum values like that and let's say you want to know a particular value on somewhere so let's say probe and you can click anywhere to get the values i want it here i want it here like that so yeah that's all in this uh, static analysis of cantilever beam if you have any doubts with this one feel free to comment down below and like this if you are watching and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you guys. Peace out.